Avalanches have killed seven people in Colorado this season alone. This past weekend was the deadliest yet. Three people died. And we've already passed the seasonal average for avalanche deaths. March can still be a dangerous month as well. Reporter Katie Eastman spoke with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center about the dangers. Every year there is avalanche danger in Colorado, but the danger varies by day and location. They were in an area that typically doesn't have a lot of snow. Ethan Green, the director of the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, says the two skiers killed in La Plata County over the weekend were experienced in the backcountry. Uh, in this particular case, these two skiers uh, were well equipped. Um, but they were also both caught in the same avalanche, so there was nobody around to perform a rescue. The coroner identified the victims as James Sutton and Jurgen Montgomery. La Plata County says they were buried under four feet of snow. Green says in trainings, they teach people to travel through hazardous areas one at a time. If everybody's caught in the same avalanche, um, the chances of a bad outcome go up very quickly. But in another location in the San Juans, a snowmobiler was with a group of four others when he was caught in an avalanche on Saturday. They were unable to rescue him. That brought the total of avalanche deaths this season to seven. Uh, most of the uh, avalanche deaths in Colorado happen in January, February, and March. And obviously, uh, we're just at the end of February, so we still have a lot of avalanche season left uh, this winter. The area where the two skiers were killed was also a burn scar. Ethan said that likely it had an impact on the avalanche, but it was more likely that the snow structure contributed to conditions. An investigation should hopefully tell them more. The area of the San Juans they were in had a weak bottom layer of snow with a thick layer of snow piled on top from the snowstorm that occurred last week.